Well, permanent memorial plans in memory of Dante Wright are moving forward tonight in Brooklyn Center. You may remember Wright was shot and killed by former police officer Kim Potter two years ago during a traffic stop. Our Paul Bloom is live at City Hall this evening where the plans are expected to be presented soon, as I understand it, Paul. The memorial plans, though, getting some mixed reaction. Exactly, Randy, Amy, a public presentation on the council's agenda at 7 o'clock tonight up at uh, up inside the council chambers, a floor above us. Uh, of course, no vote needed. This project, absolutely a go. As for this neighborhood, a neighborhood that found itself at the heart of discussions in this country, really, over racial justice, pretextual traffic stops and policing, back in the spotlight again tonight. I think the community coming in and kind of doing that for, um, you know, Dante Wright, I think it's, it's very, it's nice. In the neighborhood where the deadly traffic stop unfolded and drew the world's attention two years ago, the feelings remain raw, sentiments mixed on whether this is the right home for permanent Dante Wright Memorial. It, it doesn't belong in a residential neighborhood. Despite some objections around the intersection of 63rd Avenue North and Catherine Drive, the city is moving forward with the project that was agreed to as part of a multi-million dollar settlement with Wright's family. These renderings unveiled last week at a neighborhood meeting will be the focus of city council discussion Monday night. The tribute to the 20 year old is made of steel and granite and comes with a price tag of approximately $243,000. It will replace the makeshift display of flowers, spray paint and signage that has served as something of a gathering space for the Wright family and members of the community since the April 2021 encounter. While some see it as a fitting memorial that belongs here for generations, others say take it somewhere else. This is something that is to be placed on a pub, public property, public land, away from where people were in danger from traffic and... Uh, put it at City yeah. Hall, put it in a park. Anywhere but a, a residential public. We could put it in front of his mom's house. Now, there's an idea. That neighbor asked us to conceal his identity, has lived in his home there for some 20 years and said he speaks for others on the block. As for news here at City Hall tonight, we've been told that the material for that permanent Dante Wright Memorial has been ordered. Installation set to begin mid-August. We're live at City Hall for you tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.